A very good morning. Welcome to KTM Mid Morning. My name is Koi. Now, continental food refers to a cuisine which includes the well known dishes of the Western world. It is sometimes referred to as European cuisine or Western cuisine. To find out more about this, let's talk to Chef Edward of Ticino's restaurant next. It is a fact that almost every corner of the Nairobi Central Business District has a restaurant. We are certainly spoiled for choice when it comes to choosing a place to fill our stomach. Adding on to the growing list of restaurants in Nairobi is Ticino's. We speak to George, the head chef, who begins by telling us what the name means. We chose this name because of, uh, you know, the um, a river flows through Switzerland and Italy. The river name is Ticino, so we modified the name to Ticino, uh, adding the Chinese word Tici into that. Continental food refers to a cuisine which includes the well-known dishes of Western cultures. The most popular uh, dish in our menu are sandwiches and salads because the, the, the person who is eating, he knows exactly what is in there and how many calories and it, it carries. Ticino's attracts a diverse range of customers. Anyone from the young to the old, the corporate to the hip youngster. Italians are very, it's very easy to handle people there, very demanding. I received my culinary training in a catering institute in Southern India. Cooking comes, it's, it's a passion, you know. It depends on your mood also when you prepare a food, prepare the food. When I'm in a good mood, I cook. Sometimes if I'm not at, in a good mood, I will not cook. I'll ask someone else to cook. Continental food is, of course, it is a specialty. I am very well versed with that. As well as I, I do regional cuisines and my favorite curries. Interior design plays a big role in getting customers for restaurants along with the good food and great service. Being creative with the dining environment is important as people want to eat in a pleasant atmosphere that transmits that recreational feeling. Ticino's provides its customers with two dining options. The downstairs area has the confectionery counter where different kinds of sweet treats are served including muffins and cake. These sweet treats would not be complete without a cup of well-made coffee. The calabash was one of the first cultivated plants in the world. It was not primarily grown for food, but instead was used as a water container. At Ticino's, it is a signature piece in the decor downstairs. Another eye-catching piece is the lampshades which are set well on the ceiling. The upstairs area has a different look and gives off a modern feel. The dark brown wooden furniture contrasts well with the beige wall and floor. Parallel grids are mounted as partitions on the wall and they give the restaurant a contemporary look. In addition to the house lights, spotlights also add to the ambience. Dining etiquette is very vital in any culture. Being a continental restaurant, it is no surprise to find the tables already set with cutlery and condiments. Is anyone on with the Thai beef salad takeaway? Competition, it is always a healthy practice. 
we we serve the good food, we serve the uh, that is the fresh food, and our, our service and the food counts. You know, chicken finally gone. That's how we survive. Broccoli soup. There is mushroom soup. The people uh, they don't complain about the price. They want good food and good service. We are not cheap or we are not very expensive. Even though George eventually went to catering school, every chef has a tale behind his or her culinary journey. And for George, it all began in his mother's kitchen. I had no experience with I can't even boil a cup of water. So there I burned my hands, you know, I started like that. But then when it came to career, after my schooling, I chose catering because my uncle was the the hotel uh, industry, he, he, had a, he had a hotel, so he is the one who encouraged me to go to uh, catering. The kitchen is the heart of a restaurant. For that reason, it needs to be staffed with reliable, energetic and experienced people who understand teamwork. In order for any restaurant to be successful, the kitchen manager must handpick the very best candidates to create a coordinated, enthusiastic staff that supports the front of the house in its mission to deliver the best food and service possible. We have almost everything we get here locally. But then certain specialty items difficult to get. Taste stamps sometimes. You know, there are challenges plus challenges from the guest. Sometimes they want, you know, one more in this way sometimes some some people come and say that last time when I visited it was different and then this time it is different. The restaurant is open from as early as 7 a.m. ready to serve breakfast and closes to as late as 9 p.m. for the late diners. The daytime and evening menus are not restricted to time as customers can be served dinner at breakfast or breakfast at dinner. To provide our clients the healthy food, we, we don't hide any ingredients. We are, we are always open to the ingredients we use, the freshest ingredients we choose. And also we use almost all the meal extra virgin olive oil. Ticinos, we are only about six months old now. And it's, uh, we have plans to open uh, branches in East Africa, but uh, it's not, nothing is in, uh, finalized yet. So, you look at our, our menu. We have not chosen this color, just uh, there's a reason why we choose these colors. This white stands for purity, the green stands for freshness, and the red stands for fire. There is a, there's a mix of different um, cuisine from around the world, you can say. Um, we do Chinese food, also Mexican, and Arabic, as well as food from uh, the Mediterranean. My name is Juma Edward. I work at Ticino's restaurant and uh, I'm the team leader at Ticino's. So basically today what I'm going to prepare and is the food that we normally serve here at Ticino's is a pasta reco. Pasta reco is a simple Italian dish that I'm going to show you how we are going to prepare. So I welcome you. So for you to prepare reco, you need to have some little in the ingredients. First, you need to have penne. This is boiled penne, chicken, chopped garlic, blanched tomato, dried mixed herb, garlic butter, baguette bread. You need to have two types of cheese. We have one, this is parmesan, and also we have mozzarella cheese. Also, you need to have little chili to spice up our food, salt. You need to have salt and olive oil. Now we are ready to start cooking our pasta and I'll put on the layer, the fire. Have to put olive oil 
first little olive oil olive oil is good very good use olive oil then we'll grill our chicken so we saute our onion our chicken for a little oil after chicken has grilled for some time like around uh, one minute then we we'll put in onion and then a uh, little bit mixed spice we we'll put little chopped chili and uh, garlic While the chicken will be continue cooking, we'll be making garlic butter. I'll apply all this butter. Mozzarella cheese. Grill it under the salamander. And then now our chicken is already grilled, we'll put our tomato conkers. Our pasta has already we have warmed it little. Now we put it here and then we toss it little. Then we garnish it with the parmesan, the parmesan cheese, we top it little and with our chopped coriander and I have to taste the food to check whether there is flavor in it. But I've realized there's not enough salt, I'll put a little salt, pinch of it according to your taste but always remember to put little salt somebody can add now my penne is ready my garlic bread is ready so i'll plate my food in the plate this is a pasta plate so always when cooking food it's good to put little more penne good presentation because people eat first with their eyes the chili already. then i'll top yeah. with uh, my garlic bread yeah. this is shaved parmesan little we topped it with coriander for garnish now our food is ready A variety of both continental and other foods are served here. The main common factor is the method of preparation adapted, which is quick and simple. The food may come out in a speedy manner, but is tasty all the same. Now I'm going to do a sandwich. It's a chicken panini. I have all the ingredients here. It's a, it's a sandwich counter here. This is the panini bread. Okay. Just warm it in the grill. Chicken breast is already pre cooked. And slice a, slice a chicken. Cream cheese with the, um, with the basil. Basil pesto. That's why it's green in color. Then lettuce, sliced tomatoes, 
in the chicken. Sliced cheese. A very light glazing. That's all. Just oil. Just to avoid sticking the bread on the grill. Sandwich. The sandwich is done. Cut it into two. And the salad. A sprig of coriander. So that's done. Sunny is ready. Okay, now I'm going to make beef teriyaki wrap. I have all the ingredients. I have marinated beef. I have uh, peppers. I have the onions. I have the sauce. Everything. The beef is already marinated. Sliced onion. Saute. Some chopped garlic. Add the sliced marinated beef. And when I'm sauteing, it takes very, le very less time to cook because it's marinated. Right. Peppers. So worthy. Slice. To avoid the pan, thick soy sauce. This is done. Wrap bread, just warm it. It's already pre-cooked, half done bread. I add some crispy lettuce. Just spread some crispy lettuce on this. And the beef, cook the cooked beef going straight on the bread. Also have the delivery in CBD area. Uh, welcome, all of you. Chefs actually play a critical role in promoting particular tastes. And as we've seen throughout the week, every different culture may be different, but we are all united in the fact that food provides a cultural identity as well. If you want to catch more or you want to participate in our discussions, make sure you log on to KTM Midmorning on Facebook or you can email midmorning at standardmedia.co.ke. That's all we have for you today. Enjoy the rest of your day.